Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Brandon JFX. And in this tutorial, as you can see on the screen, you can see what we're creating. So it's going to be this nice Camaro or any car poster, really. And so let's get started. I have some images here that we're going to be using. So we're just going to create a new document by going to File, New. 10 by 7, doesn't matter what size, you could create it whatever size your heart, little heart desires. Um, <laughs> sorry. And we're just going to fill it with blacks, and since black is my foreground color, I'm just going to press Alt-Backspace on my keyboard. On a Mac, that would be Option, Backspace. And now I'm going to bring up my rulers. You can do that by going to View, Rulers, or just pressing Control-R or Command-R on your keyboard. Now we're going to drag out some guides. First one, we're going to drag out a horizontal guide. So start at the so click and drag on the top ruler, drag down to about right there. And now do some vertical guides, one right there, and one right there. You can move, get the move tool, and move them over a little bit. Cut. So once you have those, um, we're going to add some white lines. So I've, as you can see in the original, it has the white lines separating the pictures. So how you can do that is, most people would not think to do, is if you look under the rectangular and elliptical marquee tool, you can see you have these tools, single row and single column. Well, what those do, those add a single pixel line of a selection. So you could just grab the single row marquee tool, click and drag towards the uh, gr uh, guide, and as you can see, it snaps to it if you get close. So now, we're going to create, with it selected, create a new layer, and on that new layer, fill this single pixel line with white. So since my white is my background color, I could just press control backspace on my keyboard. And if we deselect and hide the guides real quick, as you can see, that white line is a single pixel created. So show my guides again. And now we're going to create some vertical selections. Let's come over here to the single column marquee tool, click and drag towards the guide, it snaps, and we can just hold down the shift key, click towards the other one, and it snaps. And now we can press control backspace. Deselect, view, clear guides, and as you can see, we have those lines created. Now, now is where we're going to bring in our images to our poster. So we're going to start with, let's say, the back image. And we can go select, all, edit, copy. So now it's copied to our clipboard, come back over to our poster, and grab the tool that most people do not use nowadays, the magic wand tool. Make sure you have contiguous selected, and on that layer with the lines, just click in one of the boxes. So you can see, since the lines are separating them, no matter which box you click in, it'll select that one box. So we're going to put the back right here, in this box right here. So once you have it selected, now, if you did edit paste, that would just create a new layer and put the image in that layer. But we don't want that. We want to put it into this square. So you can go edit, paste special, paste into. As you can see, it doesn't look like much, but if we bring up our free transform controls, if we scale this down and move it, as you can see, it stays in that box. So as it, at, in the original poster, I just had, I didn't scale it, I didn't stretch it, I just scaled it until it had a nice portion of the image, like that. Scale it up a little more, like that. So that looks all nice right there. So now we're, and as you can see, it has an unlinked layer mask. If this was linked, it would move the whole thing. But since it is unlinked, it moves inside of that layer mask. So now we're going to do all of our squares. So uh, the most important thing is after you do the first one, click back to the layer with the lines on it. Grab the magic wand. And let's click right here. Come over here to the interior. Control all. Edit copy. Come back to the poster. Edit. Paste special. Paste into. And we can scale this down. Uh, let's see here. That 
that looks good right there. Actually, I want to move it up so you can see the logo. Just like that. So that looks good right there. Let's do this one. Whoopsies. See, that's what happens if you're on the wrong layer. So deselect. Come back to the layer with the lines on it. Click. And let's do the one with the perspective, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the front. So, control all, edit, copy, go back to the poster, edit, paste special, paste it. I see that was the wrong one. Edit, paste special, paste into. Free transform it. And I really liked what I did on the original one. Of course, you don't have to do this. Just like that. And press enter. And to bring up free transfer, I'm pressing Command or Control T on my keyboard, holding Shift and just scaling down. And then to nudge it, I'm just using my left and right arrow keys. Press Enter. And for this one, we're going to be using to use the wheel. Control All, Edit, Copy. Come back to the poster. Go to the layer with the lines. Click Edit, Paste Special, Paste Into. And this one, I don't think we have to scale. I should do a little bit. That looks good like that. And I can actually, coming back to the original to, for reference, so you can see where I lined it up. It's a little big. And as you can see, it's moved down too far, so we can just move it up to go into that line. Last one, come back here to the lines, magic wand, click in this box, perspective uh, picture, select all, edit, copy, go back to the poster, you got the hang of it now, edit, paste special, paste into, and scale down. So once you have all your pictures in place, it's time for the logo. Now we can group these. So just select all of them and click on the flyout menu. New group from layers. It goes right off your screen, but it's there. We call this pictures. Uh, so it gives your layers more organized. We can name this. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, let's see, the logo, that's what I was doing, I get distracted easily, if you cannot tell. So, coming back to our background layer, just create a new layer, and on that lines layer, we're just going to create a selection in that box, and coming back to our new layer, fill it with black, and then filter, sketch, halftone pattern. And we could change it to, I'm sorry, fill it with white. Let's fill it with nothing, actually. Let's hit backspace. There we go. So once you have it still selected, but with nothing in it, filter, sketch, half tone pattern. And let's fill it with white. <laughs> and this tutorial is going rough, but I am not stopping, as you can tell, or cutting it. So sketch, half tone pattern. There we go. Let's bump up the contrast. So let's get right there. Change the size. Pretty big. Press OK. And grab our gradient tool and add a layer mask. And let's use the foreground to transparent with the black as a foreground. And you can just click in the middle and drag out. And that's And as you can see, that's the opposite of what we want. So we can just invert that mask by pressing Command or Control I. And now, 
lower the opacity. Now I have a Camaro logo, or sorry, Chevy logo. Here, just open that up. And we don't even have to worry about copying and pasting into, we can just move it. Let's scale it down. Place it, add some text. We can use Arial Black, it's a nice bold font, saying the all new Camaro. To make it white, scale it down. And we are almost done. I'm sorry that you had to sit through all these mistakes, but hopefully you're still watching. So we have that, and like could just say something cool like coming this fall. And you can select these three layers and grab the move tool and align them by clicking this icon right here. And now we can move the Camaro logo or Chevy logo down. And there you go. So you have a nice poster. Hope, hopefully you didn't sit through this and make your brain hurt. <laughs> so I know it's a little rough, but there'll be better ones in the future. I promise. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.